Emily Scarlett has their story. Being taken away from us at 19 years old is just tragic for our community. It's just tragic, period, and the senseless killings that are going on throughout our communities. Rainisha Nixon was a new mother shot and killed while driving in a residential neighborhood on Charleswood Drive, not far from the Hard Scrabble and Farrell Roads intersection. These tragedies occur so much to the point, unfortunately, you know, it doesn't really hit home until it happens in your front door. There were also two children in the car at the time of the shooting, including Nixon's first and only child, a baby girl who turns one month old today, just days after her mother's senseless killing. This is somebody's daughter. This is someone's mother. Lives are being changed by this ignorance, and we need to change immediately. Dr. Malcolm Taylor is a community pastor who says he's known Nixon's family for more than 45 years. He's asking for the community's help in supporting this family, now caring for Nixon's young daughter. We need um, Good Start cans, the orange can infant formula. We need Pampers, infant Pampers, um, infant clothing, just whatever anyone can do. It's greatly appreciated. We're going to do the best that we can to help this family not get through it but get to a place where they can, you know, um, have some form of peace. It's not the pastor's only request, also calling on the community to help bring this violence to an end. There's only but so much protection the police can do. We've got to do our part. We've got to do our part as citizens, as community believers and leaders to make sure that we're doing our part to educate this young generation. Guns do not kill people. It is the people that kill people. I want this to end. I, we need to see this end immediately. Reporting for WIS News 10, I'm Emily Scarlett.